Hi, Ninja Nerds. In this video, we're going to show you how to start an IV. I have Zach here as my patient. He's going to let me put an IV in his arm. Don't worry. He's going to get me back in another video. So let's get started. All right, Ninja Nerds. So the first thing we're going to have to do is tell our patient who we are. Hi, Zach. I'm going to be your nurse today. My name's Kristen, and we're going to grab all of our materials and tell them what we're going to do. So we're going to be starting an IV on you today. We're going to get some blood work, and what an IV is, it's an intravenous catheter, which is a little straw that goes into your vein so that we can give you medications, okay? okay. Once we do that, we're going to grab all of our materials, make sure they're here with us. So gloves are always important, some gauze. You want to grab your sterile saline and your loop, so they vary by facility. What you want to do is open it. It starts with a little bubble at the top. You can push that bubble out or you can attach the tubing and then push that bubble out and you'll see some fluid come out the top here. I usually like to see it all the way. You can see it even drip so it's nice and filled and ready to go so there's no air in that tubing. We also want to make sure we have our IV catheter and then lots of places have IV start kits. So in our IV start kit, we'll have some tape that we're going to use in a little bit, our tourniquet, some alcohol prep, and we will also have in here our Tegaderm which is going to help us secure our IV then. So let's get all this out of the way because we don't need that. All right, so far so good. So now what we're going to do is we have the patient in a position that they're comfortable in. We have the arm laid out here for us and I'm going to put the tourniquet on. When you apply the tourniquet, you want to make sure that it's tight, that it's going to be applying pressure and you want to have a quick release so that later we can release it with one hand, okay? So I'm going to leave that there just so we can keep Zach comfortable because you don't want to leave the tourniquet on for too long. I'm going to put my gloves on. And then what I like to do is also get this tape ready. You can put it off to the side. So that way it's ready for us because sometimes tape is hard with gloves. I also like the big four by fours. These are called four by four gauze. I like to have them closer just because they're a little bigger and with IVs, I'm an ER trained nurse. Sometimes IVs can be a little messy and I like to have something that I can quickly grab. Okay, so now we're gonna put the tourniquet back on again. And we're gonna look at the patient's arm and what we're going to see here is we're just kind of looking in the antecubital area. Typically, this is the area you want to look because when we're doing any type of imaging, if they need contrast dye, these are the IVs that are the best. And they're also pretty plump and at the surface there. Okay, we're going to open up our alcohol swab. There we go. And clean the area. And sometimes when you clean the area, if you clean it vigorously enough and you give it a good wipe, you can actually make the vein plump up. You can ask the patient to make a fist. I don't typically like that too much. I think it makes the um, vein go under too much pressure. Once we've cleaned the area, we're going to take the IV and we're going to uncap it. And we want to make sure when we take the IV and uncap it, we have bevel up. And we also have this fill canister here, which you're going to watch when we do insert the IV. This will fill with blood and that'll tell us that we're in the vein. Okay? We're going to get ready. We're going to put our hands in our position. I like to have two fingers on the catheter, one hand anchoring the vein down and the skin down. And as I get ready to insert, and then we're going to insert it. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, as we insert, we're going to be looking here for the blood filling. So you can see the blood is filling. That means I'm in the vein. I'm going to insert a little further, and then I can push this cannula in. Once the cannula is in, I like to slide this gauze here, turn it gets off, occlude. Some people don't do this. This is what I do. I pop off this cap pull this out, apply pressure so we don't have too much blood, and then put this on. Good, once it's in, I can pull back, I can see blood is in the J-loop, I can then push in some saline. Perfect, it is in, then that little piece of gauze that was here, I just clean, and I can put my Tegaderm on. I'm not letting go of the cannula because I don't want to be moving the IV around too much. I can secure, pull off this little thing here, there we go. Once I do that, I know the IV is secure. I like to check one more time. That's just me, you don't have to do this. Any pressure or pain. I'm looking for a wheel here, I'm looking for any pain. I know I'm in the vein because I saw that blood return. Then I take my little bit of tape. And I like to do this because it looks all nice and pretty. And that is it. Oh, IV's so, in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Ninja Nerds, so Zach has his IV, he has gotten his medication, and he's feeling mm. a lot better. 
<laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the IV out. Okay, so when we take the IV out, we still put gloves on. All we're gonna need for this is some gauze and some tape. I just have an extra piece of gauze here. When you do take it out, it is sometimes a little bloody. Patients don't like to see their own blood sometimes, so what I like to do is put it somewhere so there's not like a stain on the bed or anything and then take it away right away. When we do take the IV out, I always tell them this usually hurts more than the IV stick because you're ripping tape off their skin. I hold the first tubing and take off that little piece if I can get it started. And then as I remove, I'm holding this catheter nice and stable. Tegoderm is now off. I take the gauze that I have here. Don't apply pressure, but just put the gauze over top first. As you start pulling it out, then you can apply pressure so that it's nice and secure. You wanna tell the patient to have pressure on this IV because it is a vein um, that's gonna be exposed. So the vein wants to be under pressure. And then all you're gonna do is can you apply pressure as you put tape on, and that's it. The IV is now out, and then Zach's gonna go home. He's feeling so much better, look at him. <laughs> and that's it, Ninja Nerds. I hope you like this video, and as always, until next time.